Hello. So before I start, you may notice that I look like something you would find under a bridge, in a bin, in a hospital of some kind. I am very sick. I have high temperature, swollen glands, sweating, feel gross as fuck. So my face reflects this. I feel how I look, <laughs> which you can see is fucking terrible. This is just how I look every day, uh, with no makeup on, not even a lick of mascara, and honestly, I just don't have the strength. What I do have the strength to do today is cheer myself the fuck up, which is by opening all of the stuff I got from Comic Con. So because I put literally no makeup on and no effort to my clothes other than Count Dankula merch, I have put on today a very small witch's hat because it is October and Halloween is great and this is as much effort as I could muster. So yeah, welcome. I went to Comic Con in Glasgow. It was last Saturday. Today is so sick, I don't even know what day it is. Today is Thursday the 3rd of October. So it was last Saturday, the Saturday that has been. And um, it was just on a whim. We woke up and I says, Marcus, Comic Con's on, do you wanna go? And he went, fuck yeah. And I was like, yes, weep stuff. And then um, it was great. It was a, it was a really fun time and um, I enjoyed it. Um, so what I did is basically every single stall or um, seller, merchant, whatever that had um, surprise boxes for sale I bought one I bought two I bought many and they're all just sitting here so I'll show you briefly what they all look like apologies for constantly having to like make gross mouth noises if I do I can't help it I can't breathe through my nose <sighs> this is who we are this is who I am. So I'm going to show you everything that I've got right next to me here um, that's like a surprise box thing. I cheated on one of them because I know what one of them is because it's the same people that were at the, the London Comic Con last year and I got a similar thing then. Some of the stuff may have changed, it may not all be the same but this is, so I know roughly what's in that one but I'll show you that in a minute. So we have this guy. This was from the second haul which is um, a little bit of a smaller haul, it, does, um, it doesn't have, it's got like the food court and stuff in it and it's got like the big haul that had the contestants for the cosplay and stuff. That haul tends to be smaller sellers and this is where I got this from. This was actually the first one that I bought um, because we started off in the food court because we fat. This one says because I want to see your face with a smile on it and how could I say no to that? As far as I'm aware, this one is like sweets and stuff. I think, I can't remember where I got that one from but that's what we have. This is the one that I cheated on a little bit. It's from Tofu Cute, um, which is uh, a website and a stall. Um, it's fucking great, it has the cutest things. And this stall also had um, a teddy that I argued with myself about buying for roughly like 45 minutes. It was um, a hedgehog that was like this size and it had a bow tie on it and I loved him so much but I'm 31 year old and I just can't justify spending like 35 quid on a big fucking hedgehog. So I didn't. Kinda wish I did but I didn't. So I know roughly what should be in this. It should be like a can of juice and some sweets, like a little plush, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got extra and shoved it in there as well. So, But the, the stuff might have changed. I can hear juice in there, so. But we'll see. This one, um, I have a video of me getting this. This one I don't have high hopes for because it was basically at the start of the convention. It wasn't the start, it was like maybe like one row in. And it was two guys dressed entirely in like kind of carnival gear, like stripy, like sort of blazers, bow ties, all that kind of shit. They were like had a cockney accent and stuff, and they were trying to like trick you into constantly like, being like cheeky geezers to like trying to get you to spend more money, which I wasn't into at all. Um, it was I think it was like ten pound a go, and he was like, oh, you know, you'll get two goes for twenty pounds. So a bargain, you get two for twenty, and I'm like, that you know, that kind of like 
oh, having a joke kind of shit. Just no. So, um, I paid once, so you basically spin a wheel, it lands in a colour um, and then whatever colour you pick, you need to pick out the bag of that with a stick. Kind of like when you go to carnivals and you have the stick and the ducks and then you hook the duck. It's that idea, bought a bag. The reason I don't have high hopes for this is because only at the very, very top of the walls of the stand did it show you pictures of what might have been in the, in the box and even the pictures were garbage. I think it was things like Spider-Man cups and stuff wasn't that great but because it was one of those mystery box stalls I had to get it. Lastly we have two boxes that came in the same bag. Now these you've seen literally everyone at Comic Con carrying a see-through plastic bag with both these boxes in it like this. These guys were at the very, very start of Comic Con. As soon as you walked in the main door, they were the first all there. They had maybe five or six people all walking up to you saying, do you want this, do you want this, do you want this? It's great. I said this to them, what's in it? The reply that I received was, I've seen people walk away with X, Y, Z. And I was like, have you though? Are those things in there? And it was all stuff like, again, Wolverine flasks and stuff. So I don't really know. I assume, so both of these cost me a tenner as well, um, so I assume it's garbage that's inside of it. I assume that there's probably tons of leaflets inside about getting money off your next box and all that kind of stuff, as they all do. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I have a rough idea in my brain, which is currently macaroni and cheese, what I paid for all of this. They're all guesstimates because macaroni and cheese. And while I'm doing this haul unboxing kind of thing, I'm also going to just do a Kira Kira box because I have it here and I really should open it. I'm pretty sure this is like fucking September's box, to be honest, so I really should get this open. Let's start with what I think is going to be the shittest and then move up to what I believe might be the best. So we'll do that now, starting with this ugly beige bag, which feels honestly disgusting. So we'll open that. Um, I am filming this super sick as I've already told you. The reason I'm filming it when I'm really unwell is because I feel like this might cheer me up. Not these two things, not the boxes in this bag, the other stuff, absolutely. But I feel like the act of uh, opening up all this cute stuff will make me very happy. So, I'm not going to like look away and start taking stuff out like I do with the normal boxes. I'm just going to start opening stuff because I can peer all day. Alright, okay, so initially we have, oh god, we have, now do you know, actually I'm opening this as well, the guy that says to me, oh you should just buy it, the guy that was doing it, I was like looking at all the pictures and I was like, none of this stuff's going to be any good, and he says, if you don't like any of it, just give it to somebody for Christmas, and I was like, that's your sales pitch, like just buy our bag of shit, someone else might want to be regifted this, like great sales pitch mate. So, speaking of shite Christmas presents, we have a Spider-Man egg cup with what looks like a toast stamp. Um, you see it better here. You like stamp the toast and it says Spider-Man on it. To me, that's garbage. That's what, that's, that's the kind of stocking filler that you would give to like your 45 year old uncle that you don't really know but sometimes wears a Spider-Man t-shirt. Or like, Secret Santa, if you work in a call centre and you don't know the guy, but again, he wears Spider-Man or Marvel t-shirts sometimes. We have a Star Wars tin pencil case. It's really better if you want to see it. Yep, fucking great. We have... Oh, we have a, a Superman keyring. Check that jaw. And we have a Call of Duty Black Ops heat changing mug. And when it's cold, it is this one. And when it's hot, it is this one. <laughs> so, that's what we have there. Uh, I mean, I don't play Call of Duty. Do I fucking look like I play Call of Duty? Let's have a look. I do like tea though. Focus, man. There you go. That's your mug. 
and that's your mug. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's one more thing in this bag. Yeah, it doesn't have anything on it, so we don't know what it is yet. But we'll open it now. Try to find the best way to open it in case I need to put it back in the box. Oh, it's coasters. Okay. So we have... Ghostbusters coasters. And they're all the same. And we have six of. Six. So that is that entire bag of stuff. So yeah, that was what was in that entirety of that bag. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm aware that if I was a boy and I like this kind of stuff, or I'm just a girl, or any person, it's very, very rude of me to assume people's genders and what they like. But typically, boys do like Star Wars and Superman and all that kind of stuff more than women do. But if I was anyone and I liked the contents of that bag, I mean, I would be happy with it, but obviously, you know, I'm not into that kind of stuff if you watch my channel. I'm more into the kind of like cutesy, uwu nonsense. Let me know in the comments if you want to do if you want me to do giveaways per bag, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll like number them. Um, and if you want to do giveaways and stuff, I can, I can give this stuff away because honestly, I'd be giving it away anyway. <laughs> Red and blue, and the brown and red. The red, brown, red is red. So all the red bags contain the same prizes. All the two, they all contain the same prizes. All the yellow ones for each bag. All the red ones for all the other. So yeah, no worries. Good choice. Hello, how are you? There we are. Are you ready to go? Thank you very much. So that was that bag. And we'll put this stuff back up there. Let's start the My Geek Box stuff now. So this is the second one, so I've not got any scissors. I've, oh, I do, my God, I've got scissors, right. So. We'll open the black one first. Game of Thrones. Diary, possibly. I don't want to like open the plastic in case I do give this away. Um, but it looks like it might be either a jotter or like a diary of some kind. But I mean, if you're into Game of Thrones, that's fucking cool. Like that is pretty nice. Um, I mean, Marcus doesn't watch my videos. Could this be a Christmas present? Who knows? Um, we have a Dorbs Fallout vinyl coll collectible. Um, yeah, that's that guy. We have Game of Thrones house signal magnet set. So just magnets of the houses from Game of Thrones. And we have a Rick and Morty official collectible coin, Mr. Meeseeks. So that's that. Fucking focus, my God, there we go. So that's everything in that box. Um, that was much better than that random bag, at least. I mean, that was pretty cool. I like that the, the items are better. Like, see, like, like obviously, I really like not with notepads, stationery, all that kind of stuff. So that notepad was pretty nice. Um, it felt and looked like quite good quality, but not really up my style. But it's good to know that when you walk into a comic con and you see these people, that you might actually quite like some of the stuff inside. So that's one box from them, and the other box is a Z box which says the mystery box made for geeks which I think is a very broad term because you get geeks for everything you get like Dungeons Dragons geeks you get anime geeks you get like Marvel geeks you get like the creepier geeks that are into like Invader Zim or Johnny Homicide Maniac any sort of like Jonan Vasquez stuff or Roman Dirge so I think that geek is very broad and you shouldn't, you shouldn't put people in boxes Anyway, speaking of boxes, <laughs> in this one we have more Rick and Morty, which looks like a puzzle. Yeah, we have a jigsaw, <laughs> which I guess is kind of cool. We have a, 
Ooh, we have. I'm not into Star Wars, but um, I do like lights, like lamps and stuff are pretty cool. Um, and we have a BB-8 mini light. So that's cute. The wee bits they pull out, which I won't do in case I do give this away. But you just pull it out and it's like a wee light. I think that's cute as fuck. We have a Banjo-Kazooie limited edition coin. What is it with coins, man? Do people actually collect these coins? Is this like a fad that I'm not aware of? I don't know. My computer's freaking the fuck out, man. Can you hear that? And we have 25 year keychain. Hmm, okay. It's a Simpsons, Simpsons 25 year keychain. Um, so it looks like you could have like a number of different things as a keychain in there. Don't know what's under there, but yeah. So a keychain, a key ring, and that's everything in that box. Again, pretty cool. I guess it's like the lower version of what the geek box thing is. Um, but I'm surprised that there wasn't like leaflets and stuff. Like if you like this stuff, just subscribe, get one every month, all that kind of stuff. But well, it does say record, share, and love. But record, share, and love with who? Like, all oh right, okay. So they must have like social media. I don't know, man. Like, I'm so used to like the Doki Doki boxes and stuff, where it's like got pictures of physical people who've been like, yeah, it's in, like hashtag Doki Doki, and then the pictures get taken by Doki Doki and put on the leaflets and all that. Like, like to show literal interaction would encourage people to interact, which these boxes don't have. But whatever, it's not my gig. So we're left with three cute boxes. So what I'm going to do is open the tofu cute one because I know roughly what's in that one so it's less of a surprise than the last two so we'll do that now. So you get drawstring bag. So with tofu cute you get three options. You get one bag which is just all sweets, you get another bag which is just all toys or you get the ultimate bag which is this guy um, and it's more expensive but you get both and then you can do a £5 add-on to get extra <laughs> and then you're me and then you buy other shit and they put it in the bag. So that's that's what's in this. Plus you get a really cute badge. Maybe like cute badge. And actually the drawstring bag is pretty cute as well. So all in all, it's all nice. So we have oh the coconut ones. I was gonna buy the coconut ones actually at one of the stalls, but I didn't. So I'm glad I didn't. But um, these biscuits are fucking amazing, and I'm not just saying that. So in uh, my last Doki Doki box, I got a pen that had like a koala bear on it and it was four biscuits and in that video I was trying to explain how you get these panda ones but Tesco and Asda have them but strawberry and chocolate but the coconut ones coconut and lavender are my favourite smells and coconut is my favourite thing to eat like I absolutely adore coconut if you ever see me I will either smell like coconut or uh, lavender anyway don't smell strangers uh, we have Ocean Bomb White Grapefruit Flavoured Sparkling Sparkling Water, can't even talk, but yeah. Now that stuff was like 170 a can when I because I was really thirsty when I was buying this and I noticed the price of them separately. It's like £1.70 a can, so that stuff was pretty expensive. We have a super squishy kawaii poop, which has been opened. My poop. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably give that to my nieces, but yeah, We have, oh, we have these, but I bought these separately. I actually did want to try these. Um, I can't, is it, it's not Noki, because Noki's the other thing. It, what are they called? They're called something that I can't remember, but um, yeah, the, you get like um, the, the bean ones, the red bean, you get sesame seed ones, the, like little dumplings filled with like, strawberry stuff. Um, I am too ill to try these, but I am desperate to eat them. Oh, where are you? I mean, I don't know what you are, but you look like a bunny. Um, and I think you're squishy, but I think you might be a scented squishy, but... I don't know, let's have a wee sniff. Nope, not scented. Smells like shit. Um, we have... Cookies and cream, wee sticks. Um, I'm pretty sure that you get other ones that they call pox, but I don't know what these ones are called. But anyway, so little cookies and cream sticks. There's more food in this one than anything. 
This is more panda biscuits, but this one says it has a milk flavouring. So maybe like a custard flavour or something. Like I don't know, you know what a milk flavour would be like. It kind of looks like custard. Doesn't look, doesn't look white. It looks yellow. But whatever. Where's my toys, yo? What are you? Caramelly soft drink, orange. I mean that's a, it's a glass bottle. I'm giving glass bottles to kids. Don't give glass bottles out to kids. This is a Japanese carbonated soft drink, orange flavour. That's all it says. I'm sure I bought a double box. Oh, there's a toy. Oh, this guy's called Muffby. Muffby. I know because it tells me on his wee bit. See? He looks like a poodle. He also looks like Bob Ross. But we enjoy him. He's nice. See? Leaflets, guys. Leaflets. Right. We've got a... Uh, Caplico, which is like a strawberry foam thing, a biscuit thing, and, and, and a wafer. Um, they're not that exciting, they're actually pretty gross. We have Pocky, see I told you they've got Pock or Pocky or something like that. There's more sticks, these ones are banana flavoured, chocolate banana, not into that whatsoever. We have an endless edamium popping soybean pod. What? Okay, so it's a key ring. There is a, a pea pod, so we're definitely going to take that out. And apparently, you can pop the peas out. But I'm, I'm dead scared. Oh, oh, oh. Their faces? Holy shit, that's creepy. Come here. Oh no, they don't come all the way out. They're like stuck in there. Okay, get back in. This guy. Oh, wait, can you come out? Oh, oh, oh! Do you have a face? Do you have a face? You don't have a face. He's a faceless pea. I assume this one doesn't have a face either. No face. But this one does have a face. Me. Okay. So that is probably the strangest key ring I've ever received in my life, but I will use. I do enjoy. And we have a notepad. Um, it looks like a drawing pad, it's all blank. And it's adorable as fuck. Next we have a pen, which is cute as fuck. Sweet lord, look at that. Oh she. So that's cute. I love that. That's nice. Can you see that? And we're at the end of the bag now, and we have what looks like a chipmunk or a squirrel or something. Who's just cute as fuck, man. Like, come on. He is. Yeah, that says it was five pound originally. He's holding a wee nut in his hand, which is pretty fucking cute. I do enjoy. So yeah, that is everything that's in that bag, and I'm going to put it all back in now. Okay, so next we have two. We have this guy, and we have this guy. Now, I don't have the greatest high hopes for this. Um, I think it's maybe got like a toy. For some reason, I think it's got one of those like mad masks in it. Um, you know the ones I'm talking about. Don't know what else is in it. And this one, I believe, is just sweets. I open this one. Ooh! Oh, it's cinnamon roll. I love cinnamon roll. He's cute, man. So it's like three cinnamon roll like lollipops. Which are. Super cute man, super cute. All about that aesthetic, with the colours. Very nice. I enjoy that, that's cute. We have... Ooh. What are you? Do you make like crystals or something? Or are you the sweets? Oh god, I wish I knew what you were without eating you. I've been burned before. 
think it's like a packet of jelly sweets and these are the three like colours you get. Initially I looked at the yeah. front and thought, oh like do you make your own like slush? Is this like a slush mix? Um, but it's not, I think it's like jelly sweeties. Um, so there's that. Oh that looks fancy. That looks like strawberry chocolate on a dark chocolate ch um, base, like biscuit base. But look at the packaging. Like it looks like a pure event, doesn't it? Like, ooh, executive chocolate. I'm all for that, that sounds cool. Almond Crush Pockies. Now these seem like top tier Pockies as well. They seem like we golden box. See, it's much better than the other ones. And look, you can put a message on it. They're for gifts. I want to live in a country where people are like, I'm going to give you a gift and this is what the gift's going to be. Like, see just giving people gifts. Like, I could go to the shop and be like, here you go Marcus, there's a Mars bar. But that's nothing compared to like, here is a gift. The message in the back of them. Love it. I think that's all of it. The last thing, oh that's creepy. The last thing is like a strawberry, kind of looks like little um, custard creams. Do you know what I mean? But strawberry flavoured I assume because strawberry there and a really really creepy demonic kid. Look at that kid's face. But yeah, so that's everything that's in that bag. So that was pretty cool. I'm absolutely going to eat the fuck out of them. Everything else looks super fancy. For the last three days I've managed to consume roughly six slices of toast. Um, I have like no appetite. It feels like I'm trying to talk through broken glass. So I am, um, eating's not the best thing in the world right now. So I do plan on trying all of those sweets. Um, let me know if you want me to do that in a video. That to me kind of seems weird, like, yeah, let me watch you eat things. I know that's a normal thing for YouTubers to do, to like eat stuff and give like reviews and that on it. It's all weird sweets and chocolates and stuff. So I'd understand if you'd want to see me be like, that's disgusting, that's disgusting, that's fucking disgusting. That one was okay, because that's generally what's probably going to happen. So if you want to see me eating them in a different video, I'll absolutely fucking do that. But if you don't, I'm still going to eat them. Anyway, let's do this last bad boy that I nearly dropped there, but I hope you didn't notice. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, what are you? Are you like a pink sloth? Excuse me. Get in my life. Oh, I mean, I instantly love him because he's fucking fat. Look at that gut. Me, me. Look at that gut. He fat. He fat. Me, 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 me. He's cute, man. I mean, I can't guarantee that Bronson won't get him, but he's fucking cute. I like him. Look at his wee toes. Look at them toes. Right, I like him. He's nice. What else have I got? I was fucking right. I was fucking right. My glasses don't allow me to be ooh woo. <sighs> Fuck me, that's hot in there. Right, we have... Oh, he's strange. We have this guy, who does not seem well. Like, does not seem well at all. So he exists. Um, We have... Remember when I got like kawaii boxes from like eBay and stuff and there was one that was fucking garbage and it, had, it came with an umbrella. Um, this is one of those umbrellas. I think it might be this one up here. I am not an umbrella kind of guy. I am more of a, a hat hood kind of fella. We have a banana pencil. Wee banana topper, we like yellow pencil. What else are you gonna say? We have so remember when I got the really, 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 really bad kawaii box, the one that I got from eBay that had like the front page of a book of my little pony book that had been ripped off and then taped at the edges and all that kind of garbage. It had been drawn and all that it was fucking terrible. And they gave me like a blue one of these and said, oh, really rare. Stop being made, um, swimmer thing, um, 
it turns out it's not rare because look, they have them at Comic Con. Like, it's the exact same one. I got a blue one the last time, and now we've got a pink one. So, I mean, they can't be that fucking rare because this girl had plenty of them in this box, so. I mean, they're a good idea. It's got like an Uzi, it's got like a wee mirror, it's kind of cute, but just further proof that that box ripped me the fuck off. So there's two things left in this box. We have um, a pin, like a badge pin. Um, no idea what this is from. Apologies if I'm offended anyone's best anime or something, but if you know what this is from, uh, tell me. But yeah, badge. And then finally we have this wee ram. Check him out. I'm sure I've got a ram already, but not one that's as small as this, nor one that's pink. Look at his little face. So yeah, very happy with that. That was pretty cute, I enjoyed those things. Finally, we'll do one we didn't get from Comic Con. We'll just do our uh, Kira Kira box. So we'll do that and then um, we'll give our final thoughts on Comic Con boxes and the like. So Kira Kira box this month is, well this month, this is October, this is September's. Um, but in September's Kira Kira box, if you're interested, um, it doesn't have a theme, does it? No, I don't think it has a theme. Right. So, no theme. So we have a moisture and conditioning... Looks like a spray-on lotion. For a minute I thought it was like a leave-in conditioner, but I really don't think it is. Um, so we'll give it like a squish. Give it a squish in the old tattoo because... I mean, it sprays out big white lumps. Um, but whatever. Doesn't smell again. Probably if you're here and I'm screwing up my skin. But if it's in fine out. Um, oil in moisturising hand jelly. See it says oil in. Now I hate the smell of apples. Like, I like apples. I like apple pie and apple crumble and just eating an apple. Apple cleaning stuff, apple perfumes, all that kind of stuff give me an instant headache. So I imagine, if I can get this open, that an apple moisturiser would do it pretty much the same. Oh, why wouldn't it open? Oh, am I being actually defeated by a fucking... No, I refuse. Oh shit, right okay, so that's, it's out now. So, it's on my skin. Right, we'll put a bit here. Does it smell apple? It smells more like, it smells musky. Like a... Because of my face. I mean, it's a nice moisturiser. Feels kind of silicone-y, but which would explain why it's the colour it is, but no, it just smells fresh, kind of like a musky fresh, um, like a like a man smell almost, but not a hint of apples. So whatever, um, next we have cotton buds, possibly. I love how I look at all of these and guess what they are and then the book tells me, but I mean these could be handy if I think if they are what I think they are. It's like a wee packet. Um, and I think a cotton bud. You know, rip them open and have a look. So there's one. It says twist here. Oh! Hey! And it's wet. It smells like alcohol. So on one side you've got like a pointy version. And this side you've got a blunt one. So that'd be really good for like um, fixing your eyeliner and stuff, especially if you can if you're pish at doing wings like I am. It's definitely alcohol, so I wouldn't recommend putting it too close to your eyes, but if you've done like a wing and you can thing of your wing, I don't know. But I mean that's pretty handy. I'll use them, they're pretty cool. Next we have an eyeshadow that looks kinda looks kinda funky. It's like a bright pink with glitter in it. So we'll wrap that open and see how pigmented that is. I love how I'm here talking about 
fucking beauty products with a face like a slap dash. So I love my finger in it, that's what it looks like and looking for a bit of skin with no tattoo on it so I can show you. Um, yeah. I mean, if you're into pink eyeshadow, it's pretty fucking pink. Um, and pretty glittery. Let's try a fucking a wipe to try and get it off. Hey, that worked like straight away. So both eyeshadow and wipes are pretty good. Next we have face wipes with um who's that got the guy again? The Snoopy? Snoopy. Is it Snoopy? Are you Charlie Brown? The Snoopy in it. Hi. So I uh, face wipes with um, him on it, but then him as a girl, because why the fuck not you? Eh? So let's give them a smell. Apparently you get 15 in the pack. Comes a wee pack with that, which is pretty cool. Um, and we will open it and smell it. Smells like fresh. So yeah, that's nice. You put in your makeup bag and whatnot. And speaking of makeup bags, the last thing you get is a My Melody makeup bag, which I will absolutely use because I am a 31 year old makeup user and y'all can do suck my dick. Nice. So I'll put that stuff in there. Does it? To be fair, it won't hold all the makeup that I actually wear. So it says, once upon a time, there lived a little rabbit called Little Red Riding Hood. Cool. So yeah, my melody. So let's look at this uh, leaflet that it comes with. I don't know if it's for us. It's a face mist apparently. So Adley face mist, naturally moisturising your skin with this refreshing face mist. It contains Hatumiki extract, which is known for its powerful hydrating and smoothing properties. It's gentle and transparent formula. It's perfect for everyday use, skin conditioning and radiance as is as easy as a couple of sprays. Now when I sprayed it, it was quite dotty. There was like big splodges of white liquid that would form. So it's not an even spray, um, but you've got to fucking rub it in anyway, so whatever. This is under mystery makeup. So they must just have like a fucking, see it there? Mystery makeup. So I assume, because I am a negative Nancy, that they probably just have a full load of makeup they have to get rid of and they've just thrown a bit into every box. Um, so it says, what did you get? Enjoy this cute makeup, which is perfect to put in your new makeup pouch, used to add to a splash of color to your daily look. Nope. This is hand jelly. It says, La France Pears. What's Pears? Doesn't look Pears either. No, it now. It smells, now it smells like an old lady. It shows you how much of a vegetarian I am. Can't tell pears from apples. But, La France pears are popular speciality in Japan in autumn. This LA France hand jelly is moisture locking cream that won't leave stickiness on your skin. It contains a rich formula of shea, argan, jojoba seed oil, persimmon, persimmon root? I don't know what persimmon is. And ginger root extract for maximum care and hydration. Cool. Uh, makeup pouch is my melody, I don't really know what else you're supposed to say about that. These cotton swabs just made fixing your makeup that much bit easier. Each cotton swab is pre-soaked in makeup cleansing solution so you can easily touch up your makeup, blah blah blah. Smashing! And these things, it says Kos, K-O-S-E, Refreshing Wipes. These on-the-go face sheets are your best friend on a hot or busy day. These wipes absorb oil and stickiness to refresh your skin and makeup. How are they going to refresh your makeup? They can be used on top of your makeup by gently patting or they can be used to cleanse your face by softly rubbing. Each wipe is fragrance free and alcohol free and contains hyaluronic acid as a moisturising agent. So you use them as like a blotting sheet as well as a makeup remover? Nah. Probably a makeup remover but they're too wet to blot. That's fucked up. So yeah, that's what you get. So all in all, this has been highly entertaining, but I'm absolutely knackered now because, as I said, I'm not well. But um, yeah, so I really liked the last three boxes that I opened, last four, Kirakira box had a lot of stuff in it that I actually do like. 
for a change so I will use the stuff in that. The, I really enjoyed the toys that I got in this box so if you see any one of the cons sell in this crochet box, there were smaller ones as well, I think this was the most expensive one, um, I think it was like 25 maybe 30 quid, don't know, but um, I really like this one. I can't remember for the life of me where I got this sweet one from but if I see it again I'll absolutely buy it because the sweets in here look executive. This uh, tofu cute one, um, I thought I was going to know what was inside it. It was a rough idea of what I knew was going to be inside it but compared to the last time I got it, it actually had less toys in it um, than the last one um, which I was kind of, um, um, I probably wouldn't buy again. I'd probably just spend my money more on other stalls to buy separate sweet ones and separate toy ones because as the two I've just showed you previously had better toys and better sweets. That one has all mediocre toys and sweets so I think I would probably avoid the Tofu Cute one. Maybe just go to Tofu Cute one for like a one item because not, they don't just sell bags, they sell like separate items as well. Um, as for the beige bag that I can't be asked reaching for, that was garbage and the My Geek boxes were pretty cool if you're into the stuff that's in them. As I explained earlier, I think that there's many types of geeks that you get in the world and those boxes are not um, for the type of geek that I am. <laughs> I am a whole different range of geek of that person. But if you're into the kind of stuff that's in those, then I will um, maybe do a giveaway on my Twitter for the stuff in the beige bag and the two geek boxes. So that's three boxes worth of stuff that you'll get in the post. You only live in the UK because I think the shipping to America or any other country would be fucking mental. I've posted stuff to people in America before and it, the, the postage is just nuts. Um, in any other country I'd imagine it'd be the same, possibly not Europe, but I think that it would still be pretty expensive. Um, and plus I don't really want you having to pay customs and stuff. I'll let you know on Twitter the, the rules of this competition and how you enter it. Um, and if you do want to get the stuff in the first three boxes, which was this one, this one and this one then enter that competition. As I say, the rules and whatever else will be on Twitter. All this excitement and this impromptu giveaway, as I've been talking in the words of, of do you want this has came out of my mouth and apparently now I'm doing a giveaway. But yeah, so all the excitement of all of this has made me very, very tired. So I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching me open all this stuff. I'm sorry I wasn't as excited as I usually would be opening this stuff, but trust me, the stuff I liked, I really do like. Let me know in the comments below if you um, do want to see me review the sweets separately, which I will do if you want me to. Um, and yeah, just let me know in the comments below how you're doing generally. I hope you're all okay. I hope you're all not dying of whatever I have. Um, I hope you're all very well, healthy, covered in scarves and pumpkin spice lattes because it is the season. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you want to see pictures and stuff, I have an Instagram. If you want to talk to me and see anything about this competition or to win this stuff, which I'm pointing at is the boxes, then I have Twitter. And uh, if you want to support me in any way, should perform, I have a Patreon. So yeah, thanks very much for coming and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Buddha. 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 Oi. Fat boy. Oi. Buddha. Oh, hello.